The tragic development in Elizabethtown is our first story tonight at 6. Hello everyone, I'm Doug Prophet. In the past 30 minutes, police there giving us new details about the drowning of a 19-year-old kayaker on Freeman Lake. They are calling this a tragic accident. Kenneth Robertson of Hardin County was last seen struggling in Freeman Lake, but divers could not find him until this afternoon, 24 hours later. Police in the city of E-Town just held a news conference with more information. WHS 11's Rose McBride has been following the new development. She's live in Elizabethtown. Rose? Doug, Elizabethtown police spokesman Chris Denham said this was not the outcome that they were hoping for. At some point, Robertson left his kayak. Then he started flailing and asking for help. Now, he did have a life vest with him. He rented the kayak from Freeman Lake, and the state requires that a life jacket is given to someone with a rental. However, when the kayak was found, the life vest was on that kayak, not with Robertson. Robertson's body was found near where he was last seen, which was 20 feet under the surface of the water. It took dive crews from LMPD and Campbellsville Fire 24 hours to complete the search. There was extremely low visibility in the lake. That was one of the reasons. Well, it's certainly not the outcome any of us wanted. Uh, it was a tireless search effort, certainly for the divers. And again, we were, we were beyond thankful for, for both of those crews. Nothing short of professional, um, but uh, they, they worked very hard. And, and we were able to uh, conclude it. We do believe this to be an accident. There is no foul play of any type being suspected at this time. Now, the Elizabethtown police spokesperson did tell us that they will evaluate if any changes do need to be made. However, this is the first ever drowning at Freeman Lake, and they do encourage anyone who is out on the water to take those safety precautions and have a flotation device with you. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.